Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use line spacing in Microsoft Word. Whether you're polishing a resume or formatting an academic paper, understanding line spacing is a key. So let's get right into it. We will start with a basic method using the ribbon and then move on to a more detailed approach using paragraph dialog box. To begin with, I will navigate to the Home tab on the ribbon, then click on the Show Hide button. This is optional, but I recommend it since it reveals hidden formatting marks like paragraph breaks, which can impact how line spacing looks. Now, select the text where you want to adjust the line spacing. After selecting the text, click on the line and paragraph spacing icon in the paragraph group. A drop down menu will appear. Here you can select from several spacing options like 1.0, which is single spacing, up to 3.0, which is triple spacing. You can also adjust spacing before and after paragraphs without changing the spacing within the paragraph. These three options Change the spacing based on your current font size with 1.0 equating to single spacing. Immediately after your selection, the changes will apply. So you can see how the spacing alters the look of your document right away. Keep in mind, you can apply both individual line spacing options like 1.0 to 3.0 and paragraph spacing adjustments to the same text to fine tune your document's appearance. I will click on the show hide button again to hide the formatting symbols. Now let's explore the next method using the paragraph dialog box. Head back to the home tab on the ribbon. I will click on the show hide button. Select the text where the line spacing needs adjustment. Next, click on the dialog box launcher, a small diagonal arrow in the lower right corner of the paragraph group. This section opens a paragraph dialog box. In the dialog box, focus on the spacing section. In this section, you will see the before and after boxes to adjust spacing above and below paragraphs, measured in points. Each point equals 172nd of an inch. You can adjust the values by clicking the up or down arrows to select a whole number or type in a decimal directly into the box. In the line spacing drop down, you will find several options. Single sets the spacing to match your current font size. 1.5 lines increases the space to one and a half times your current font size. Double doubles the space based on your font size. If you choose double, it is like giving your text a bit more room to stretch out. Think of it as a yoga for your words. At least sets a minimum space determined by the point value you enter in the add box. Exactly specifies a fixed spacing between the lines set by the points entered in the add box. Multiple multiplies a line spacing by the number you input into the add box. For instance, if you enter 3 in the add box, the space will be three times that of the single spacing. The option don't add space between paragraphs of the same style removes extra spaces between paragraphs that use the same format. This can clean up the look of most documents since they typically use a consistent paragraph style throughout. As you make these changes, watch the preview box to see how they will look in your document. When satisfied with the settings, click OK to apply them. 
before we wrap up, let's have a quick look at how to single space an entire document efficiently. To begin, select the entire document by pressing Ctrl A. Just a heads up, using Ctrl A selects everything. In more complex documents, this includes elements like headings and tables, which you might not want to change. So always double check what's selected before applying spacing changes. Then reopen the paragraph dialog box. And for a clean single spaced look, set both the before and after spaces to zero and choose single from the line spacing menu. Confirm by clicking OK. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or suggestions for topics you want me to cover, please drop a comment below. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.